An unconditioned stimulus is something that naturally and automatically makes you respond without you having to learn how to do it. This idea is part of classical conditioning, a type of learning first described by Ivan Pavlov, a Russian scientist, in the early 1900s. In classical conditioning, an unconditioned stimulus is paired with something that doesn't normally cause a reaction, like a sound or a light. Over time, this thing that didn't cause a reaction before starts to cause the same response as the unconditioned stimulus. For example, if you hear a bell every time you are given food, you might start to feel hungry just by hearing the bell. This process shows how we learn to respond to new things in our environment. The unconditioned stimulus is important because it naturally causes a reaction. This reaction is called the unconditioned response. For example, food is an unconditioned stimulus for a hungry animal because it naturally makes the animal salivate, which is the unconditioned response. The term unconditioned stimulus comes from Pavlov's experiments with dogs. Pavlov noticed that dogs would salivate not only when they ate food, but also when they saw the person who fed them. He studied how certain things could become associated with food, leading to the concept of classical conditioning. In one famous experiment, Pavlov rang a bell just before giving food to the dogs. After doing this many times, the dog started to salivate just by hearing the bell, even when no food was given. The bell, which was originally something that didn't cause any reaction, had become a conditioned stimulus, and the salivation in response to the bell had become a conditioned response. First, let's look at food and salivation in humans. Just like with Pavlov's dogs, food acts as an unconditioned stimulus in humans. When we see or smell food, it naturally makes us salivate. This is an unconditioned response because we don't have to learn it. It happens automatically. Second, think about a loud noise. A sudden, unexpected loud noise is an unconditioned stimulus because it naturally makes us jump or flinch. These reactions are unconditioned responses because they happen automatically and we don't have to learn them. Finally, consider touching something hot. This is a painful stimulus and acts as an unconditioned stimulus because it naturally makes us pull our hand away quickly. This quick pulling away is an unconditioned response because it happens automatically without us having to learn it. I mentioned that the unconditioned stimulus is a concept from the theory of classical conditioning. To learn more about classical conditioning, watch this video.